In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there is no God but God, and the only one who has the right to be worshipped is God, and Prophet Muhammad, and Jesus, and Moses are the messengers of God. In this video, I'll be discussing about Imam Mahdi the Mashiach, what happened in Christ's church, how can this be prevented in the future, and some key things to understand about protection, that Allah unique creator of all that exists, who is the great protector of all things, is the only one who can prevent harm, who has, who has uh, perfect control of everything in the universe, does injustice to no one, and regulates all affairs, and nothing happens uh, in creation or existence without the will of God, the creator of all that exists. So we live in a cause and effect universe. Uh, as the law says in chapter 95, verse 5, then according to our law of cause and consequence, we degrade him to the lowest of the low if he does evil deeds. So it is us that manifest evil in the world. It is not God. Uh, like I said, God does no injustice to no one ever. Uh, one of the main requirements is that we have Imam Mahdi, the Mashiach, as our leader, uh, to strive for this, to wait for this pro prophecy to be fulfilled, uh, to prepare for it, and to await uh, this prophecy. And as Allah says in the Quran, if we do not have a, a leader, a Muslim leader, a spiritual leader for the believers, um, there will always be um, mischief and corruption in the land. So it is our duty to have uh, a leader, uh, specifically in the Muslim world, and uh, for the Jews as well, and the Christians as well, that we should all have a true leader to uh, run the things through scripture and that's where Imam Mahdi the Mashiach will come in as well as Jesus as in prophecy to return as well. So it's very important that we strive uh, for this and will help uh, remedy the problems. Now if we look towards uh, the police or our governments or uh, insurance or anything outside of God, uh, not outside of God but uh, associate protection um, besides God, um, then this is we fall in error and then evil things can happen to us because we are not living the truth. Um, as Allah says in chapter 10, verse 107, And if Allah afflicts you with harm, none can remove it but He. And if He desires any good for you, none can stop His bounty. He bestows it on whomsoever He of His servants He wishes. And he is the great protector of the ever merciful. So Allah inflicts, um, afflicts you with harm. None can remove it but Allah. So Allah is the great protector. I've got several great verses here for us to understand uh, the protection. So let's just get to the crux of this is protection. So we need to always seek the creator of the universe for protection. Like I said before, Allah is the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the all-hearing. He's in full and perfect control of everything. He regulates all affairs. There's nothing that happens outside of God. We're all within God, and Allah is in full and perfect control of all things. And Allah says in chapter 39, verse 73, And those who took their Lord as a shield will be conducted to paradise in multitudes until when they reach it and its gates are open to welcome them. And its keepers say to them, Peace be on to you. Be you happy and prosperous. Enter it. You will be abiding therein forever and ever. So taking Allah as your shield and protector um, will grant you paradise. Um, Allah says in chapter 39 verse 20, But for those who take their Lord as a shield, there awaits for them lofty mansions, story upon story, with streams running beneath them. This is the promise of Allah, and Allah will never fail in His promise. So Allah promises we take Him as a shield of protection. We will grant, grant us paradise. And Allah never fails his paradise. Now, this next verse, verse uh, in chapter 74, verse 11, it is discussing about people who were destroyed before because they didn't take God as their, they didn't believe in God, they didn't take their God as a protector, so God destroyed them. Allah says, that is because whereas Allah is a protecting friend of those who believe, the disbelievers have no protecting friend. So, I've been into many mosques, uh, not many mosques, but I've been to several mosques, and um, they never really discuss uh, about protection. There's only a few uh, spiritual people that really emphasize to take a lodge of shield, to take a lodge of protector. Um, they generally 
I've never heard, never been in any mosque that discuss about Imam Mahdi and the Mashiach, and this is a very essential part for a, for uh, for a believer. Um, is a tenet of faith, tenet of faith in the uh, Jewish religion that if you don't believe in the Mashiach, um, then you are missing um, a key important in your belief and faith. And this is, I believe as well in Islam, it's, just, it's the same thing. It's all the one religion. It all. Every prophet messenger came with the same message. It just has a different flavor with the different religions, but at its core essence, they're all one religion. And in Islam, if you do not believe in the coming of Imam Mahdi, the Mashiach, you are missing a core essence to your religion, and this is not uh, proclaimed. Uh, I've never heard it once, Imam Mahdi, be mentioned in any um, uh, mosque that I've ever been to. Um, there's a great deal of errors I see within the mosques. Um, I don't want to get into all the details about that, um, but there are holes in their game, holes in their understanding, and the way they preach, they uh, associate uh, partners with God I've seen, I've been walked into mosques, I can smell disbelief, I can smell shirk, uh, I can smell this, uh, the associating partners with God, I can smell this, uh, after going to the mosque several times, the smell would go away, because I would bring a presence of understanding, a presence of believing in the oneness of God, and God is all-powerful, and there's only one God, the creator of all the universe. And this would help alleviate the smell, and then I would come back uh, months later, and then that smell would return again. So there's a great disbelief, there's a great disconnect uh, with God uh, as a shield. They want to take the police, they want to take the government as their protectors, um, they want to um, take... For example, insurance, um, I'm going to court actually in a couple of days on the 19th, discuss to them um, about that it is nothing wrong with traveling uh, in a vehicle without insurance, that God, the unique creator of all that exists, is the only one who can protect me, as Allah says in Quran chapter 24, verse 52, and, and those who obey Allah and his messenger and hold Allah in awe and take him as a shield for protection, it is they who shall be triumphant. So taking Allah as your shield and your protector, you will be triumphant. Not only that, it is an access way into paradise, everlasting bliss, uh, mansions uh, story upon story, uh, with river rivers underneath, gardens with beautiful trees, etc, etc. Allah also says in chapter 74, verse 56, but these deniers will not uh, Will uh, excuse me, um, but these deniers will not remember it unless Allah so will. He alone is most worthy to be taken as a shield, and He alone is most worthy of granting protection. So He alone, Allah, the Creator of the universe, is the one who can only protect you. Nothing else can protect you, not the police, not the government. But I've my experiences in the mosque in my area. Um, they look towards the police, they look towards the government, they ally towards them, and they don't have a secure allegiance to God and God alone. And this is a problem uh, within the, the greater believers of the world, uh, particularly in the Muslim religion, that they are taking partners uh, for protection outside of God, the creator of the universe. So it's very, for us to understand the importance of taking Allah as our shield and protector, that Allah does no injustice to no one. We live in a cause and effect universe, as Allah says in chapter 95, verse 5, and according to our law of cause and consequence, we degrade him to the lowest of the low if he does evil deeds. So it's very important for us to understand the law of cause and consequence if we want to take uh, associate partners with God, uh, for example, like take insurance to travel, the, even if we are forced here where I live uh, by coercion and extortion to have insurance, um, it's, I believe it's just a, mon a monopoly for the insurance company and corporate uh, insurance companies um, to have a monopoly uh, on the people. Um, and it's done through legislation. They, they do it through extortion, through fines, and uh, put people in a state of duress. And, use coercion for people to force them to have insurances and stuff like that and as Muslims we should be against this we should try to change these uh, unlawful um, 
uh, legislations, as the law says in the Quran in chapter 5, verse 45, and whomsoever, um, and whomsoever, where is it here? And whomsoever does not judge according to the law, which Allah has revealed, that it is these who are the very unjust. So those who do not judge according to the law that Allah has revealed, it is they who are the very unjust. So it's very important for us to uh, know that Allah is the only one who can protect us, not the police, not any insurance, and that we need to live this, we need to express this, we need to tell this to um, to people, um, the ones who are oppressing us. We need to live the truth, not just talk about it. We need to express that and tell that to others. So as I said before, I'm going to court in a couple of days on the 19th, March 19th, and I'll be telling them in traffic court that I was traveling without car insurance. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I've got verses from the Quran to support me. Um, I'm going to be asking what evidence of what harm have I done and what is their authority of uh, proof that uh, insurance can protect me, etc., etc., which they will not have because there is no authoritative proof otherwise. There's no scripture that says you need insurance to travel or a piece of plastic or a sticker or a piece of metal for us to travel that Allah has blessed us to uh, be able to travel as long as we're not creating mischief or uh, creating disharmony while we travel um, or our travel can be restricted as Allah says in the Quran. So it's very important, two very things are important is take Allah as our shield and protector and to maintain the law of harmony and balance as Allah says in chapter 55 verses 7 through 9. And he raised the heavens high and set up the law of harmony and balance. He explains this to you, should, uh, should you not violate the law of harmony and balance. Hold balance with justice, giving everyone his due, avoiding extremes, and do not disturb the law of harmony in the least. So we should always be maintaining a bubble around us of harmony and balance, that we should not go to extremes, we should uh, be poised and uh, be patient. Um, patience is a virtue and to maintain the harmony around us um, not to go to extremes to be calm to be relaxed uh, to pray regularly uh, to do what Allah makes lawful and stay away from the unlawful things that Allah forbids so, us, so we can maintain this harmony and also important to take Allah the creator of the universe as our shield and protector now I believe that in the Muslims, in the believers at large, that we don't understand this concept deep, deeply enough. There is not enough uh, people speaking about this. I listen to a lot of different people and what they have to say, and there's no one really discussing this uh, to take Allah as our shield and protector. We live in a cause and effect universe. Um, we manifest our evils and we manifest our bliss, our, our paradise. So, as I said many times, there are two paradises, one in this world and one hereafter. And by doing what Allah makes lawful, staying away from the unlawful things that Allah forbids, living the truth, expressing the truth, this will enter in a state of bliss to maintain harmony and balance, to take Allah, the unique creator, as our shield and protector alone without partners, and uh, to have faith in that and to step by step increase our faith and belief. Uh, we'll strengthen that by living it believing it and keep researching and studying uh, these divine laws uh, more in depth and in a continuous in a continuous way and to teach others uh, this knowledge and this truth so this could all have been prevented um, if we uh, had Imam Mehdi the Mashiach as our leader uh, people will strive for this more inshallah uh, Moss will discuss about Imam Mehdi the Mashiach more in depth uh, not some guy that's been in a cave for a thousand years. Um, it has to be the authentic uh, Imam Mehdi the Mashiach. Um, there's many different uh, scriptures uh, in the Torah and in more ancient scriptures that talk about uh, and prophecies that talk about Imam Mehdi the Mashiach. Um, goes by diff many different names. But uh, there's no mention of him being in some sort of cave uh, and uh, for about a thousand years, uh, you know, there's there's no supporting evidence for that. So it has to be the authentic Imam Mehdi the Mashiach. Um, and we need to understand to take Allah as our shield and protector alone. 
these are very key ingredients to help us end the corruption and for us to have uh, better protection uh, from our Creator to recognize that Allah is the only one who can protect us take him as a shield and protector know that those who do not judge according to what Allah has revealed uh, to the laws that Allah has revealed is they who are very unjust and as I said I'm going to court uh, in a couple of days to tell them the truth to speak the truth and to let them know that Allah the creator of the universe is the one who can protect us and hopefully these laws will be uh, changed uh, at some point inshallah so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this gives you a deeper understanding of what happened. We live in a cause and effect universe that there was a, con a, manif a manifestation of a lack of protection of the creator of the universe. And this is why um, uh, evil was able to creep in. Um, Allah is in full and perfect control of everything in the universe. And Allah is injustice to no one ever. So no injustice was done by Allah's hands. Obviously what the guy did was completely wrong. We don't. No one should ever condone murder without a just cause. Um, it has to be a very justified cause for anyone to take another one's life. So I hope you found this video uh, enlightening and empowering. Um, take a law as your shield as protector. I always mention this in my videos. Take a law as your shield. Uh, it is very important uh, to understand this concept as it can enter you into paradise, inshallah. So Allah never breaks his promises. Peace and blessings be upon you. Thank you. Bye.